Hey everybody, what's up? CJ here, and today I'm gonna be bringing you guys the first ever channel story time about the time I fell out of a tree. Uh, take some advice from me, guys. If you want to be smart in life and not get critically injured and nearly die, don't climb trees that you can't get down. To start off the story, we have to travel six or seven years back to when I was 12. I'm currently 17 and I can't do math, so let's just say six or seven years, maybe five. But I was 12 and I was stupid, and me, my sister, and her friend, I'm not going to name names, but if you're watching this, probably not, but you know who you are. Shout out to yourself. But... We were just walking around our yard and we had this massive tree in our backyard, right? Like this thing was probably a great 70 or 80 feet tall. And I mean, that's not very big, but it was pretty big whenever you're 12 and only like four feet tall. So one day somebody got the bright idea to climb this thing. And I'm telling you guys, I'm afraid of heights, okay? Like I do not do heights in the slightest and this was not a smart idea. Like I'm very, I'm a very tiny person and this tree limb was not easy to get onto. Now, we had used this tree limb before for like tire swings and to put like a chain on the back of my pants to lift me up so I could be like floating like an angel, but the chain broke with the back of my pants and I ended up slapping my face off the ground like a pro. So, but yeah, anyways, we head out to the tree and it had rained like a few nights before. So it was kind of slippery a little bit, but I didn't care because I was stupid. And I get on this tree after like 30 minutes of trying, like they were lifting me up. We were trying to use the tire swing to get on. We could not do it, but or I could not do it. And I managed to finally get up on this tree, right? And it had like a fork in the center. And uh, yeah, it was kind of like in the shape of like a V. So I put my armpits in there and I lifted and I contaminated the tree with my pit stank whenever I was only 12. And it was pretty bad. But I get up here finally and there's nothing to hold on to because it's like it's only like four feet off the ground at this point But I'm already kind of terrified and there's no sticks to hold on to so I start climbing up the side like a koala And I managed to like get on top and now I'm like eight feet up in the air Right and eight feet to me is pretty tall even though to some people that's like oh I can like front flip off that height and all that But that's still pretty high up for me, right? I kept climbing this tree and it got to the point where there's a whole bunch of sticks sticking out of it So I began climbing and the higher I got, the more adrenaline I got, so the more I felt like Superman, so I kept going. And that's not a good thing, but I ended up reaching like this kind of like stickish platform. And I decided to walk across it because it looked very safe. And you guys know that me being stupid, I, you shouldn't walk across it. Never take life advice from me, but don't walk across it. And don't grab onto like the sticks above. Because as I got halfway across and I was off the safety of the big branch, the little branches below me snapped. And I was hanging on in the air like 17 feet off the ground by like this one tiny branch that was already dead, right? So this thing was going to give at any moment. And at that moment, my sister and her friend down below, they were like screaming and they were wondering if I'm going to die or anything. And I personally thought I was going to die. Like I saw my life flash before my eyes. I saw like the goat I saw at the petting zoo, saw the fairs and all this other stuff, right? So I was pretty terrified. Like I was almost going to cry because I was a little wimp and a little baby, but yeah, I was very scared and for any of you who have fallen out of trees You probably know what fear I'm going through But let's just say triple that because like it was like fear on steroids, bro. It was bad and They head inside to go alert my parents and they kind of left me out in the middle of nowhere by myself Except we were in my backyard and I was not by myself because and I say this because Down below the tree there was kind of like a drop off a little bit like four feet and then there was a back alleyway. It was like our the end of the back of our yard was in an alleyway. And all of a sudden some pregnant power jogging lady comes like sprinting down this thing. Not for me, but because she's just wanting to get a jogging because she's probably pregnant and wanted to lose that baby weight and all that. But uh, yeah, so she is jogging and all of a sudden she hears like hi because I'm just like trying to be friendly I'm like, how are you doing? And she's like, where are you? I'm like look up and she looks up and there I am like almost directly above her and she's like Oh my gosh kid. Are you okay? Are you doing okay? How did you get up there? I'm like, uh, it's all good. I can't get down I was just wanting to say hi goodbye and then this lady got the hint that she was like that I was trying to ask for help right so she tries to like stand there and she's like it's okay buddy you can fall I'll catch you and so I'm like dangling in the air right but by this point she kind of shifted towards the grass where I was because I was like right over grass and there was like a patch of like shrubs behind me not behind me but behind the spot where I was about to fall 
like below me and so she stands underneath there and the scary part about that patch was in the shape of a circle there were sticks sticking up out of the ground that if you landed on would impale you and clearly i'm here so they didn't impale me but this gets crazy guys so i was dangling in the air and i managed to like swing and grab onto this bigger limb but there was no other baby limb surrounding it so once i grabbed it i was stuck there even if i managed to get up and stand on it there was no way i was getting down unless i fell or jumped or a fireman saved me because i was about to cry and i was about to die so i hop on this limb and this pregnant lady's trying to catch me and all of a sudden here comes my sister and her friend booking it out of the house with my parents fast behind them right and this pregnant lady is still a far distance off and she's like just let me catch you buddy i'll catch you i promise i'm like you're pregnant go away like i'm not trying to be rude but she has a baby inside of her developing and if i land on her or like hit her stomach or something i'm gonna be responsible for accidentally killing this baby and like probably not killing it but injuring it i could do whatever on accident you know like i would never intentionally go out of my way to like hurt anything so like i have trouble killing flies like that's how sad i am but i don't have trouble eating steak or anything like so she was like down below trying to catch me my parents were coming out they're like where's cj then they look up in the tree there i am dangling like it was raining below me because i was crying basically because i was just terrified and all of a sudden i got the bright idea because she was right below me i'm like if i turn maybe just maybe i won't land on her so i'm like i gotta make a choice do I want to let go or stay here for the fireman? And all of a sudden my mom's like, stay right there. The fireman will be here soon. And like, she's like, I'll go call him. And I'm like, oh wait, there's going to be more drama. And then I'm like, maybe I should just fall. Then I decided to wait for the fireman. But unfortunately, nature is a cruel mistress and she broke the limb I was on. So now I'm falling in midair. Everything's going in slow motion. People are screaming at me. People are hollering at me. The tree limb's falling right towards me. I'm about to get impaled by the sticks below. The pregnant lady's about to catch me. Everything's going went wrong at the exact same time and all of a sudden i hit the ground i didn't feel it i like i didn't feel anything about this experience but the tree limb falling above me the really big limb it was about the size of like a uh if you take your average teenager and make them flex their arm the limb was about that size of their muscle right but it didn't hit me it like landed off in the tree somewhere and i hit the ground and the pregnant lady did not catch me thank god she did not catch me because that would not have ended well for her or me and my mom didn't end up calling the fireman because i of course got down and my dad was kind of a little bit furious but not because of anything like that she did or anything but because i like was in like a life-threatening situation and i should have been more responsible but i was 12 give me a break <laughs> and it was kind of terrifying for me like but when i hit the ground the scariest part was as soon as i hit i didn't feel any pain so i thought i had like broken my spine or died and when i realized that i wasn't dead I rotated my neck like at an almost 90 degree angle and as soon as I looked over there was a rake sticking up out of the ground right next to my neck and if I would have fallen like literally an inch and a half like closer in the wrong direction or if I would have fallen closer to the pregnant lady I would have landed on that rake and I would not be narrating this magnificent story for you guys but yeah if you guys can take any advice from this story just know one thing don't climb trees. If you guys like this video and want to see more stories like this, hit that like button down below and click subscribe if you're new to my channel. And yeah, thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, see ya.